Hey, what's going on, guys? Today we're going to be playing some Coda in Real Racing 3 Formula 1 as the daily race. And I am going to show you how to perfect this racetrack and get first place every time. So, you want to start off right when the light turns green. You want to ease behind 19th place so you can get the slipstream. And right at that first corner, you want to dodge that 19th place because he is going to break very, very late. Early, excuse me. As everyone can tell, the AI breaks always breaks so early. So during the S's, you just want to ease around most of the AI and I've managed to get myself to fourth place you just want to ease that S you want to stay on the left side of the S's in my case I s like it to go around the outside of the AI every time because the inside it's not like and I bump Hamilton there sorry Hamilton He's not bad, okay. Well, anyway, I was talking about the AI. They always, like there, they're always going to go on the racing line. They never, like, move away from the racing line unless you crash into them. Which doesn't, well, happens often. But I try not to. As you can see, I have turned my traction control off and I am trying to get better with it uh, I've started to get used to it I've noticed something that you have to go slower through corners so by the second lap I'm already in first this track is really nothing to worry about especially in the cup in the daily race it's just a way to get money if once you get in the real race for the actual levels with goals and stages then it starts to get a little hard but it's sometimes it's usually still manageable so as you can see you usually want to get in the first so you can have a nice hot lap after on the second lap Right there, you want to break where that black starts. And here, on the second lap, you get used to your breaking points once you're experienced on this track. So I feel like to you newcomers out there that really want to play Real Racing 3 without any assists, but you need help and you're not that experienced with these type of things but you want to know that you can get your braking points right and everything your racing line right just come back to this channel subscribe and my next video will show you how what a real racing line is and what some good braking points are thank you so much for watching subscribe down below Comment down below on what my next videos should be. And please like the video. Thanks. Bye.